All right. It's all right. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Yo guys, can you hear me? Can you see me? Cause I can't see a damn thing now. Damn, why is this all like... Sorry, I was using a... Uh, a different program I was trying something different but I guess it didn't work out right so sorry guys um, yeah so I apologize for that I'm going back to my original open broadcast uh, program So I'm using regular OBS, not Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS would actually have a little bit more stuff to do. Like uh, I have spinning wheels, I have different little emojis and all that stuff, but I'm gonna have to wait until I get a better uh, PC. So I apologize to everybody. Paul, thank you so much for sticking around, man. Um, hold on a second, I need to do something here. I need to get the chat up. So, hold on a second. But, what I was saying before, Paul, Dr. Banfield, I have been messing around with that 3D printer that you gave me, that you invested it into the Crackers Forge. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been like 12 hours, like, on and off. Not, like, 12 hours consistent but 12 hours on and off trying to get this thing to work right. I actually tried uh, two different uh, miniatures. One came out perfect, and another one came out a little messed up because I used a soft uh, filament and it just it didn't go well. I didn't set the, the heating uh, element right, so I apologize. But other than that, I did get it right. But other than that, Mrs. Ford Master was here. She gave me the shot earlier today. It's Friday night. You know, we have kids, so you know how it is, guys. You know, we gotta stay in, get them kids in bed, drink while we're here, keep an eye on them kids. We got three of them, so you know how it is. But, dude. Dr. Banford, can you hear me? Forge Master, Mrs. Forge Master, can you hear me? Um, let me know. That's right, shenanigans. Late night shenanigans. Right here. Friday night. It's probably Saturday morning. Hold on, what, what, what time is it? Shit, I wish I, I, wish I was like <laughs> Dr. Disrespect and had a foot phone. I would actually do So, good morning to everybody on this late night shenanigans. Oh, hold on a second, guys. I gotta get this locked in so you guys can see your guys' chat. I hate when uh, you can't see that I have the chat open. Now, so we're gonna turn down the volume. mentioned that my music was a little too soft and was starting to make them fall asleep so I had to add the rest of my music to my stream 
team method. So can you guys hear me now? Is the music too powerful? Let me know in the chat. I love to hear and read what you guys have to say. I have Mrs. Forge Master live and I have Dr. Bamford. Dr. Bamford's in the house. And like I was saying earlier, Dr. Bamford, I got some miniatures here. All right. Oh. Oh, I got a hat. I, I just got a message from my old guitar player, Rob. Thank you, man. If you are live right now, I do have a, a chat open. Hit that live chat button. Hit that subscribe and that bell, and you will get notified when I do these late night shenanigans, man. And I would love to chat with everybody from my past, like Dr. Banford. Rob Russell, my old guitar player from way back since we were fucking in middle school. I usually don't like to swear when I do my content, but I'm live, so I don't give a fuck. And it's Friday night. Hold on, I, I gotta change my hobo tablet here. <laughs> my tablet is going crazy. It's like, what the hell's going on? I am thinking, I am thinking, I am thinking. Well, welcome guys to another late night shenanigans at the Crafters Forge. I am your Forge Master Tom, and it's Friday night. Mrs. Forge Master just gave me a shot. If you saw earlier, you saw that I took my last shot with you guys. Oh, I got I gotta turn my mic up. Alright, hold on. Alright, I gotta get this gain up a little bit. Is that better guys? Do I have to turn it up a little bit more? Let me know. Shit. It says message message. <laughs> Retracted. So that means that you deleted a message. Dude, I'm super excited right now. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm super super excited. Is that good? Hold on, hold on. It, it is my microphone loud enough. Let me know, Mrs. Forge Master. You are my moderator and my manager. Come on. Come on now. Before I get down to business, it's Friday night, I'm having fun, and we're doing it, guys. We are doing it. Hold on. What the hell is going on with my hobo tablet? My hobo... <laughs> my bum... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. My poverty, my poverty tablet is not working right. Rob, if you're watching, there's a little uh, thing. If you have the YouTube app, there's a little button that says live chat. Hit that button, dude, and it'll open up that chat. Hit that live thing. It, it looks like little uh, equalizers, dude. Give you some musical you know things you know here you know you know man like damn man it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while rob I miss you, man. If you're if you watching this right now, dude, 
Like me and you, dude. Me and you started the whole music scene <laughs> in our area back in middle school, man. We started the hardcore scene. You know what I'm saying, dude? Before we got Brian and all that shit. I miss you, bro. So, thank you for joining. Thank you, Dr. Banford. Thank you, Mrs. Forge Master. All right, so let's get to that situation where we are doing that shit. Let's get to that action cam. Pow, 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 pow. Boom. There we go. So everything is good. Levels are good. All that stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I, I might have to share this stuff again. Dr. Banford. You still in the house? Let me know in the chat. If not, bro, I will share this to you guys once again. Yo, I gotta get my, my, my homeboy, Jason Stratton. He's like, he's like my older brother. Jameson Powell, I know he probably won't venture. Dude, I am spamming everybody. I'm, it's Friday night. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care, homie. Oh, guys so sorry about that quietness right there sorry but yeah all right so this is our ancient mech sentinel this dude is like uh um aztec or uh um like pretty much like mexican like uh, ancient uh, Aztec. Hold on, I I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. I gotta get my hobo. My sorry, my not my hobo. My poverty tablet up and running, so I can actually see what's going down. Holy shit, it's loud. I gotta turn this shit down. Sorry guys. My bad. So if you guys are joining me right now, we are working on this uh, antique mech sentinel from the... Oh crap. Anti-matter games. Shadow Sea. Battle of Deadwood Forest. And this is one of the big uh, miniatures that we have here. Dr. Banford, welcome back, dude. I am so happy that you are still joining us and you haven't fallen asleep yet. Because I, I, I know how I am. I'm pretty boring. <laughs> Especially with these point, uh, painting tutorials or live stream. Uh, 
or I just got a message. Rob, Russell, my man, dude. This is this is my dude right here. This Rob Russell. This cat right here. Me and him grew up starting the hardcore scene in the Bangor area in Maine. Like we started it. We started. <laughs> he did it to my sister and all that, and then. He like started hanging out with me. He was a guitar player. I'm a drummer. Hit it off. Start playing some shit together. Started that hardcore scene. Got another one of our skateboard buddies into singing. We started uh, skateboard punk hardcore clash up shit. I mean like shit. <laughs> I mean. We were in sixth grade when we all met each other. Well, I was in sixth grade. Uh, Brian was in sixth grade. Rob was in uh, seventh grade, I do believe. He's a year older. Or me and Rob were the same, his same age. And Brian was the year younger. I, I can't remember now. But, dude, we, we started some crazy, crazy music back in the day. And uh, I miss it, man. I miss playing music. Tell you the truth. I miss playing in uh, Beyond the Glory. We started that shit. We were drowning in New Orleans back in the day. Or Blood Clot. You guys gotta remember that shit. If you're live. My buddy Rob Russell. My man. Yeah, it's, uh, crazy stuff, man. Crazy. But, all right. So this is our mentor that we're working on tonight. Sorry, guys, for earlier today, uh, you couldn't hear me talking or anything like that. Because, yo, AJ, what's happening, man? Welcome to the chat. Seriously, what's up, man? How you been? How's the bakery? If you're still at the bakery, how you been, man? The boys at the bakery, you say what's up. Hey, man, I was actually thinking about you guys uh, a week ago, actually. Just wondering how everybody was and uh, how the bakery is. And your brother told me that it was totally set up different. So, you know, in a little bit, you know, hey. Yo, tell the boys at the bakery. Yo, the walrus says what's up, man. <laughs> the walrus. Or, or, or. Y'all know what's up. <laughs> yo, AJ knows what's, <laughs> what's up. And like, the boys, yo, show this stuff. And yo, all right. If you guys want to kick it with me or anything like that subscribe hit that notification bell share with your best friends you know get that stuff going man like i'm trying to hit 100 subscribers and i'll do another uh subscri subscriber giveaway and um this time i'm going to do a three-tier subscriber giveaway it's going to be apprentice journeyman's and masters subscriber giveaway um the first time was uh, hitting 50 subscribers. Thank you, Paul Banford. Um, Dr. Banford, you're the man. You set that shit off. I try not to swear on my channel, but I'm live. Yo, man, like. <laughs> Sorry guys, all right. I'll try to be more uh, professional now. All right, I was a little excited. It's Friday night, it's midnight, it's late night shenanigans, so I'm off the clock, boys. I am off the clock. I will say that I do have my first uh, commission coming up and I'm super excited about it. I have a fantasy comic con coming up in Bangor on the 20th of this month right now this month this month the 20th 
at the uh, Cross Insurance Center and I will be doing some dem demonstrations and all that shenanigans there. So if you guys want to come kick it with me, come down, get some selfies, get some fucking hugs, get some... Oh, 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 I swear it again. I'm sorry. Dr. Benford, you caught me on that. You caught me on that. I'm trying to be professional here. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. I actually have... Like, yo, I got my homeboy, Dr. Banford, that I grew up with in high school. I got AJ that I uh, grew up with in the bakery and all that other shenanigans. You know what I'm saying, homie, and all that stuff. So, we're going to do this. So, this is that miniature that we're working on. <laughs> Enough of that shenanigans here. Let's try to get some business down. So I got some commission going on from one of my sponsors. So I'm super excited, guys. I am super excited. Mrs. Forge Master, you know, has been uh, right there by my side and support me and push me when I've been down and out and not wanting to do these streams. She's been like, yo, Forge Master Tom. Get your thumb out of your bum. Get some streaming going. Get that stuff going. Push it. That's what I'm doing. I like hanging out with you guys. You. Thank you guys. Thank you. Especially you. Yeah, you. And you. Thank you for supporting me. And. And. Helping me get to where I want to go so if you guys are not doing anything on the 20th of July I'll be down at the Cross Insurance Center at the Fantasy Con, uh, Fantasy Con uh, hold on hold on hold on sorry the Down East Fantasy Con I'll have a couple of tables down there and I will be doing some demonstrations so Come on down, join me, get some selfies, take some pictures. I don't care of anything that I have on my table. I love all that hype and all that love from all you guys giving me all that love. Taking pictures of all my stuff and helping out, telling your friends, hey, if you have a board game to have miniatures like this right here. This is part of a board game right here. If you have miniatures that have board games and you don't want that dull gray, hit me up and I will definitely paint it up to how you want it. So, all right, let's get to it guys. I am excited to show you what I'm gonna do. AJ, Dr. Banford, Mrs. Forge Master, thank you guys for joining me. All right, let's get down to business, guys. Sorry for that. Sorry for all that promoting. But uh, on my promoting page, I do have a lot of promoters, um, unpaid promotions, except for Kraken Ships. They are gonna be my first ones that are actually like ask me to do a commission job for them so I will do a great job for a low price because they are the best people they're just like me starting out so I will not I will not charge these guys an arm and a leg for paying high quality not tabletop ready but next level next level next level painting like I will actually take my time and do this stuff because I love Kraken Ships they are a miniature like company and I love it they, they sent me four 25 inch oh well sorry not 25 inch 25 millimeter miniatures which is small a lot smaller than what I'm actually used to I'm used to 28 to 32 millimeter, millimeter or centimeter miniatures so 
cracking ships this goes out to you guys this isn't your miniature but anything like that but if you're watching i have your back you want me to, to paint some miniatures for you you are you picked the right person all right so let's do this guys all right set this down let's get our holding block here gotta have our holder gotta have our block we don't want our fingerprints or oil all over that oh 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 Banford, it is a fun stream thank you man i appreciate it dude i i love having old friends aj dude i i'm so happy to have you on my stream thank you thank you don't forget to share with all your friends subscribe tell them if they have a miniature board game that they have like just a single color and they want that shit to pop let me know I am a business like I have business business cards this shit's all this shit's legit mrs. forge masters over there she's uh, shit faced and uh, passing out on my couch sorry 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 let me correct that on our couch but all right guys let's do this I am super excited to have all you guys here Thank you for your support and kicking it with the Forge Master Tom. Let's do this, guys. Bow. Super excited. That's why I'm acting kind of retarded. So sorry. Not retarded. But just super excited, guys. Love it. Love it. All right, what we're going to do right here. We're gonna black bomb, black bomb this bad boy, which is pretty much priming it. And we're gonna use the Pro Acryl Charcoal Black. This is what we're gonna use right here. This Pro Acryl, I swear by it, man, like has the best pigments in all the paints that I've tried. Like I, I, I specialize in like hobby paints, like 50 cent Walmart paints. And then this stuff was sent to me to try out for uh, helping out one of my best painters on YouTube and uh, Twitch and all that stuff. He sent me this stuff for uh, try out. And this Pro Acryl, I swear by it. Like next time that I actually uh, paint and buy some paint that's high quality, I'm gonna actually gonna. I'm going to order some of this Pro Acryl from, uh, I think it's from Monumental, or Monument, yeah, MonumentHobbies.com, which is from British Columbia, I do believe that's what it says, really, yep, made in Canada, so yeah, so British Columbia, you, you guys from Canada, you guys know how to make some good, high quality pigment paints I swear by uh, army painter but man this pro acryl is just the next level like the mat to it is super good super superb and I can thin it out if I really want to do some glazes or anything like that superb man superb so AJ, how how are the boys doing at the bakery? Let me know in the live chat. Or if you guys are watching the instant replay. Let me know. Seriously. Oh. That's what happens when I'm drunk. Kind of happy that Professor Y didn't take over my channel tonight. But I will say that I uh, miss everybody at the bakery. It's been it's been real there. It's been real. But all right, let's get to it. Pow! The 
Professor Y was thinking about taking over my channel, but I used a couple of antiviruses and uh, spamwares, and I spammed him out because I am a hacker. I've been a hacker for a while, and I hacked him out. Sometimes he gets through some of my barriers. Sorry, guys. I just can't give you any more. If he gets, if he gets through. Banford, they know what paint's all about. Sometimes, actually, I will say, I've learned through uh, paint and miniatures that there's actually differences. Like, uh, these miniature acrylic paints are a little bit more, they have more pigments than actually house paints. Tell you the truth, like, I know you paint houses and all that stuff. I paint houses on that. But, dude, these, like... I can thin them right out to uh, pretty much a, a, a muddy water, but I can actually still use it and it'll still have that pigment to it. Other than some acrylic paints that like uh, the 50 cent uh, apple barrel or anything like that. When I get to a certain point, they'll lose their assist, uh, their, their pigments and just turns into a muck. But you'll see, man. You'll see. All right. So here we go. Oh, before we do anything, always put a glove on. Save that non-spraying hand. The holder. The holder hand. Whatever you want to call it. I think Mrs. Forge Masters passed out. So I appreciate everybody that's joining me right now. So I just want to thank everybody that's uh, kicking in on this chat. All right, here you go. I like using a quick release on my uh, airbrush. Pa pow, we got it in. See that? Still has some uh, stuff in it. There we go. All right. Wipe that right off. I'm using my hand because it's just water and Windex. So there's no paint. Pow. All right. That right there. Oh, I didn't even get anything set up. I'm sorry, guys. Not set up at all. my pro acryl up oh, right there all right i'm gonna use my pro acryl coal black this is like a matte black right here it's the best to use i try not to use too much water back in the day before i got this flow improver i used windex and i didn't know that it actually made it sped up the uh the the uh I can't even think right now. But. Boom. There we go. I'm going to go with a couple of drops. A few drops. All right. Three, three drops. Three drops. We want to make sure that we clear that right in. Nice and good. And whatever we have on the cap. I'm going to slap it right in slap it right in the pot make sure that we have that extra paint and now so two drops of water
two drops of water. Now we're gonna mix her right. Mix this right up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So how is everybody doing tonight? I am doing great after a long day. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're doing some more painting tonight. Like I was saying, trying to make up for that, uh, that lost time that I didn't upload or do a live stream. So I apologize to you. This is to make it up. So here we go. So if you're new here, I have a song, put a little paint in it, put some ass to it, let it percolate. Put a little bit of ass to it, let it percolate. Put a little ass to it, let it percolate. Put a little ass to it, let it percolate. All right, now, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off our guide here. This is so we don't poke ourselves in the eye. If you're a kid, we're actually gonna loosen this up and we're actually gonna go prime our needle. That's what we're gonna do. That's right. Let it percolate. Dr. Bamford, you know what's up. Put a little ass to it. Let it percolate. Put a little ass to it. Let it percolate. This is actually the best way to mix this paint up than actually mixing it up with a paintbrush. <laughs> little trick that I learned back in Nam. Bamford, you know what Nam is. There we go. All right. Nope. Get that wax paper out of the way. Here we go. If you were here and joined me last night, you know how I like to paint my miniatures, especially priming them or anything like that, is uh, bottom up. So I'm gonna blast it like this right here. Plow. See that right there? Blasting that right in there. Spin it right over, right to the side. Blast it right in there. Get them right in there. Blast that paint right in there. Don't be scared. If you mess up, you can always paint over it. It's just paint. And it's acrylic, so it's water based and it's non toxic. But I don't like my kids touching this paint because it's pretty expensive. All right, check this out, ready? All right, you ready? So I'm gonna let this set. All right, ready? 50 cents, okay, check this out. 50 cents, $5, $5.50. Cents. What do you think I'm gonna let my kids touch? Yeah, that's right, the Walmart paint. Not this Pro Acryl, and this Pro Acryl is just too expensive. But it's better for your miniatures. But I will use this 50 cent paint no matter what. That is what I specialize in. And what I like to use through my airbrush. But, like I was saying, the stuff was sent to me. I might as well use the crap out of it. That's right. Right, trees. Am I hitting that hour mark? Banford, you're gonna be my moderator tonight. When I hit that hour mark, let me know. We're gonna take a small intermission break. That's how I like to do it. Through these long streams. Sorry about earlier guys using the, uh, a different program. See that? I'm all out of black paint. Get that Pro Acryl. Bamford, since you uh, invested in this, well, sorry, if you invested in me, you are a moderator now. I give you that right, since you are Dr. Bamford and you are in the house. Friday night, thank you. Thank you, bro. For you, much love for your support. Much love for all you guys' support. Oh, hold on a second here.
you got to work in the morning, let me know, man. If you need some help splitting some wood, let me know, man. Like, I'll do that on the side, too. Just because I do this doesn't mean, like, I don't mind hard work. <laughs> I used to do hard work a long time ago. Actually, I used to do hard work shit three years ago, man. Four years ago, I used to do some hard work. There we go. Let's prime that needle. Boom. All right. Let's blast this right in there. Let's get this all in here so we can actually show you how I actually do some good uh, painting here. We're just trying to get this primer. I like to prime my miniatures black to get that shadow effects to it. And all that good stuff. All that pajaz, man. Last that right in that on the base here. Like I appreciate everybody hanging out today. It's been good. It's been good. I'm happy for you, Ben, Dr. Bamford, to be kicking it with me tonight, man. Like it means a lot. Let me move that camera over so you can actually see me when I'm actually kicking it. But yeah, man, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy that you're here too, bro. It means a lot. It means a lot. You invested in this channel and in me, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to I forgot to show you, man. Since you gave me that 3D printer, bro. Out of those two miniatures that I was telling you, well, I was trying to say to you before my microphones went out. Oh, but yeah, check this out. This miniature right here, he's a little, uh, he's a little messed up. He was uh, made out of the soft, um, what is it called? Um, shit, what the hell is it called? Oh, PLA. This is out of the soft PLA miniatures, so it didn't come out as clear. And this one right here, this this is cool because I actually like I had to clean this one up, but it actually came out really cool, man. Super excited. The werewolf, dude. It's a female werewolf that I actually did, and it actually whoop, came out better than the other one like you can't see it because it's neon green but man like the detailing to it like i don't have to do any i don't have to do an acid bath to it or anything like that um i'll do a video later on about it the toxic avenger hell yeah i was thinking about that i was thinking about that the toxic avenger dude that's that's tight i like that banford this one right here the toxic avenger with a fucking war hammer. Hell yeah. I like that. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Toxic Avenger. Well, when I prime it up, I was thinking of uh, more of like a sea person, like uh, somebody from the sea. Oh, get that out of the way. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm learning about it, dude. I'm learning how to use the uh, 3D printer. Thank you. You are a big investment in the Crafters Forge, so you are part of the Forge. You are a moderator and an investor. So thank you, Dr. Banford. Like I said, once I get more familiar with everything, I will help you out in the long run. If you have any work lined up, split some wood or anything let me know man like I, I need some hard labor man I need some hard labor <laughs> I need to get out of the house for a little bit but all right let's get back to some work here stop procrastinating let's get this focused in here boom this is all locked in black bomb in it we want to make sure that we get into every nook and cranny because once we uh, 
do our other colors. We're not gonna try to get into the nooks and crannies. We're just gonna try to keep it on the top layer of the miniature. That's what we're doing. We're gonna lock this in. Hell yeah, I'm gonna kill it with that printer, man. Like, once I get familiar with it, like, there's a lot of programs out there right now where I can actually download the, uh, the little um, SDLs and then they turn into uh, PI, uh, P13s or PI3s, I can't remember now. But, um, or, or J, G, I can't remember now. But, yeah, man, once I get that down, to a pattern and uh, get it to uh, if I get the right spool I could actually do the right thing and all I need is uh, a hard PLA um, spool of wire that's all I need and I'll, I'll be doing I'll be, I'll be doing good but I mean that other miniature that werewolf came out Superb. I had to do a little bit of cleanup because I had a little bit of support from the base up But other than that it came out better than the uh, the, the soft material. So Thank you. Dr. Banford for investing in the forge But all right, let's get this going This is blasting it in We're making sure that we get it in every nook and cranny we're gonna add a little bit more flow improver just to thin it down three more drops thin down just a little bit more we can actually get it into every nook and cranny without losing that detailing seems like it just pulled the other stuff right off there so we're gonna set that underneath the light we're gonna look at our, our card that we're gonna go by this is our card Get that locked in so you can actually see what I'm trying to do here I'm trying not to go with gold because I want to go with like a, a matte uh, finish to it without that high contrast because it's supposed to be a mech and it looks like a stone like a uh, antique um, Mexican Aztec um, whatever you want to call it Latin American styles stuff so the colors that I was going to bring is this Oop. 50 cent paint stuff because I might as well use it use it up so I was thinking some burnt umber and some real yellow and I'm gonna do some I'm gonna dirty it up I'm gonna first do some brown then I'm gonna dirty up the yellow then I'm gonna use some yellow mid-tone with the dirtiness but not as vibrant and then I'm gonna go vibrant yellow. Bring out those contrasts of this stone effect. Yeah, I think that's good. But. Let's see, what time are we at? We're at 51 minutes. Oh, shit. All right, hold on a second, guys. I gotta see what time I actually started here. Yeah, early time. Alright, we got 
10 minutes before we actually take our break. So, I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna clean out our gun. Make sure, oh, still got a little bit more black, so we're gonna blast that in. So we're completely out. Oh. Wow, all that shit's still wet. All right. You know our routine, guys. Clean out our brush. So we're gonna take some of this, some more water. Our nice spray bottle here. Get a pergolate, dump it. Get a pergolate, dump it. Pergolate, dump it. Make sure there's no black coming out of that percolations. Perfect. I'll even set it inside the water and actually get my nozzle cleaned out. Hydro cleaning this nozzle. It's also ladder shit. Probably waking up my kids. Hopefully not. But other than that, we're doing good guys, we are doing good. Now we're gonna take our crap rag and we're just gonna take it in there. Just clean our brush out. We don't want to have a dirty brush when we put it away. But we're not gonna put it away. We're just gonna take a small recess in a little bit here. I might have to take a recess before since we're already done with that, done with that, we're gonna set this underneath our heat lamp. As you guys know, it's not a heat lamp, it's just a lamp that actually puts off a little bit of heat, not enough to melt the uh, resin or plastic. It's not like this lamp right here. This lamp right here is fucking pretty rugged. These lamps right here on my table aren't that aggressive. This one especially. Uh, aggressive if I shut this one off look at that looks perfect it's all right but if I turn this one on this one's too aggressive shut this one off oh. see it's pretty aggressive how Dr. Bamford, are you making some coffee? Perfect, because I was feeling some coffee. Magical coffee. Gotta move my microphone over so you guys can hear me. You guys are so lucky that Professor Y didn't take over my channel tonight. Because uh, he likes to hack into my channel. Because for some reason, my... Uh, Antivirus and malware is not working right, so he gets access to my YouTube channel for some odd reason and takes it over. So I'm waiting just five minutes. I'm gonna hit this promo page here because I can't do anything else for a little bit because I am waiting for this miniature to. Completely cure before we add some midtones. Well, base coat, midtones, and highlights. And I've been drinking for a while, so Mrs. Forge Masters passed out on the couch. No more shots. Bummer, guys. So. I'm going to take a small recess break, get a drink because I'm getting a little parched. Um, and plus, we might as well get this hour break intermission done and out of the way so we can get some more work done. So thank you guys for kicking it with me. Ugh. I know it's 
sorry about that guys it's late late at night i have three kids so you know how that is i'm a little tired burned out but I'm still fighting it kicking it with you guys trying to give you guys some entertainment and education on how to paint some miniatures <laughs> yes professor y skips leg day that is correct if you didn't skip leg day you'd fucking be okay whoa 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 is that professor y coming out is that the forge master tom Nope, the hat's on. The hat is on, so Professor Y is contained. I am just like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I am Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is Professor Y. <laughs> That's right, safety first. Safety first. All right, so stick around, guys. Stay tuned. I will be back. I have to get some water. Safety first, Dr. Banford knows what's up, and I will be back in a short break. So, if you guys are now just joining me, hit that subscribe and that notification bell, and you will get notified when I do these late night shenanigans, painting these tutorials, well, sorry, Painting these miniatures, doing these tutorials, and improving our painting skills on these miniatures. So, stick around, get a drink, take a break, go walk your dog. If you're not 21, go get some orange juice or a juice box. If you are 21, go get a beer, have a shot. You know what's up. So, don't hit that skip button i will be back in a small click so i will be back in five four three two one pa 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 pow
back guys sorry for the small recess break Miniac I would love to do a collaboration with you and all the other miniature painters out there Kenny Boucher and Lucas but anyways enough of that let's get to the money shot it's my hand the cow all right here it is it's all locked in well somewhat whatever we're gonna do this shit today all right Prover. I'm gonna go with some brown. We go three drops. This is brown, this is burnt umber. I'm gonna go one drop of this break. This is real yellow. A couple of things are drops of water today man Let's do this with that brighten up that brown or dirty up that yellow what do you want to call it man it's all good it's all good in my head a pow Put a little bit of ass to it, a little percolate, a little mix up. Like this right here. Prime my needle. Cow. There we go. Cover this bad boy right here. This is brown. Dr. Bamford's still in the house, still kicking it with me. Hell yeah. So here we're gonna lock in this dirty yellow or this bright brown. Cynthia style.
that freaking brown all locked in. Yeah, the contrast definitely makes it look a lot better. But just wait. We're not done yet. We're going to brighten up this brown. We're going to lock this in a little bit more. How's everything on your end, uh, Dr. Bamford? Everything sound good. No glitches, nothing. We got a little bit of that brown left. Now we're gonna add some more yellow to it. Get that yellow out of there. Gonna go basically two drops of yellow. Mix this in. Gonna add that mid tone. So we don't get no speckling or spidering or anything like that. And we add the next paint level to it. So, if you guys are just now joining me, we are working on this an sorry, ancient mech uh, sentinel, whatever the hell. It's from the, uh, the, yeah, what is it from? From Shadow Sea. Um, Battle of Deadwood Forest. That's what we're working on. We worked on a little bit. We worked on another miniature last night. Right now, we're adding a little bit of yellow to this brown, making a mid tone. Let's prime our needle here. Ooh, it's speckling here. That's not good. She's spraying right up. There we go. That's what we want to see. A cow. Yeah, man, it seems to be really good. So now we're gonna go Zentio style with this mid tone and just hit the top. Just work our way down, guys. Just like this right here. We're adding some highlights to the highest um, recesses. The highest recesses. <laughs> Sneak it in, go to the back, do the same thing, top down, Zentio style, make sure I'm still in frame. Make sure we get those high points to the fullest. And work it right down. On the side. Same thing to it. Boom. There we go. We got our mid tones worked up. Let's add a little bit more depth to it. So we're going to add a little bit more to this top here. I'm going to Gonna sneak in here, add a little bit more highlight or mid tone to that. So when we add the highlights, it's not as abrasive, it's not as vibrant, it's more a subtle highlight than aggressive. go see that's already adding a lot more depth to it you can actually see the shadows and all that stuff yeah let's get it right down guys
There it is, right there. All right, so now we're gonna clean our pot. We're gonna go straight up yellow. Oh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Rookie move there, rookie move. I'm using my flow improver. What the hell's wrong with me? Whoop. Spraying it everywhere. Clean out our pot. Add a little bit more water. Make sure there's no dirty gold, brown, whatever you want to call it. No water there. Now we're going to go flow improver. Four drops. I'm gonna go straight with this real yellow. Two drops and one drop of water. Oh. So all those people out there want to know my precise measurements? That's what I do right there. Well, improver it helps from uh, drying up in your needle, nozzle, whatever you wanna, whatever it is. Put some mass to it, let it percolate. It's the best way to mix it up. Let's purge our needle. That's what we wanna do right there, pow pow. Perfect. All right, so top down Zentio style again. Blasting it a little bit more on the top areas. Purging it so it looks dirty, but still looks great. So there it is, guys. We got that blasted in. Let's go blast it in a little bit more. Let's get that back side. Let's get that blasted in a little bit more. Try not to cover up that mid-tone and our base coat. Try to make it look like nasty, nasty gold. And I think that's what we got here. We got, we got it. We got it locked in. Blast it in right there. Blast it in right here. Kneecaps down to the leg. Wow, there we go, guys. Think of that. Not even done yet. Still gotta add the blue uh, spirit. All right, guys, hold on a second. My daughter's out of bed again, so hold on a second. Give me a small tick.
Sorry about that, guys. Um, my daughter uh, got out of bed and needed to use the bathroom. So I needed to help her out. So if anybody out there has kids, you understand what I'm saying. Um, sorry for the long wait. Um, but yeah. So let's get to it, guys. Sorry about that. Here it is. Cacao. Looking pretty good. Let's get a new glove. Let me know in the chat who's still kicking it with me. Get some of that blue locked in now. You actually look. That looks pretty good from the picture, but I need to add the blue. It's actually bluish white. Can't see it on this, but bluish white. But yeah, guys, sorry for that long wait. I apologize. Um, once again, my daughter got out of bed. I had to put her back in there. But um, if you guys like to improve your painting skills and make them to be tabletop ready or more, hit that subscribe and that notification bell. And you will get notified when I do these late night shenanigans all right so there we go get my pocket palette if there's a spot left in there I think there's a spot left I'm gonna go with some ghostly blue from the D&D Army Painter so if you guys are gonna leave and go to bed good night guys I appreciate your support and kicking it with me tonight I know it's a long night it's a late night shenanigans episode Friday night you guys are probably drinking going to the bar doing all that good shenanigans well have fun all right a little bit of that blue they go with some white too that lawful white from the D and D Army Painter, which is matte white. It's also almost another primer, so we're gonna go with that white first before we go to the blue. Get like a wet blend going down. So let's see what we can do. Got white going, huh? I'm just looking at the picture to see what I have to do and a reference point. So let's kick it, guys.
Anyways, show shit. There we go. Now you guys can see me. Handed there and uh, got a little bit of over brush. All right, I fix it. This somewhat light, that white uh, base coat down before I add that blue. locked in make sure that I'm still on frame
might need to get some new brushes. But, on a high note, I do have my first commission job coming up soon. I will be doing a live stream on that. I do have some content and uh, some other videos coming up in the in near future. So, be prepared for that and hit that subscribe and notification bell and you will get notified when I upload and also do these late night shenanigans. Trying to get to 100 subscribers and I will do another subscriber giveaway. So, you guys like free stuff, let me know and hit that subscribe button. spiritual essence than I thought. So you can actually see it. Oh, we're gonna let that lock in now. Then we're gonna put our blue to it and our blue wash. Grab where the hell is that blue that I grabbed? this ghostly blue shake the crap out of it oh we already got some down look at that perfect take some of this blue one then kind of blend it in we got white Definitely gotta add that blue. Mystery, what's been up, man? Yo, man, I, I hear you, bro. Like, get, you know, get well, man. Take care of yourself. Next stream, dude, definitely, I will definitely see you there, man. Go get some, go get some rest, man. Definitely go get some rest. Nice seeing you. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. 
hope you guys are watching right now go check this guy's channel out he does some cool ass games man silver mystery i call him silver he calls me forge it's a good stream team right here definitely go check this guy out he does some cool reviews and games man on the ps4 i do believe he's gonna do some other stuff too but no, he's a cool dude, man. He was on the uh, Two Schmucks, uh, Two Schmucks channel, and uh, he popped over here on my channel from their channel, and he's a good dude, man. Definitely go check him out. Go hit and subscribe to his channel. Hit that notification bell, and you will get notified when he uploads killer game. Live game reviews. Live game reviews. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Silver, go get some rest, man. I will see you next time. Take care of the family. Take care of yourself. You know how it is, man. You know how it is. Good dude, man. Definitely go check out his channel. He actually got me to uh, want to play a couple of other games out there. Which is cool. Like the new uh, Crash Bandicoot um, game. Definitely gives a good info on his take on the games and what he likes and what he dislikes on the games while he's playing so go definitely check him out hit that subscribe button let's get that community going let's be all friends here we're all friends here so let's all hang out let's all be buddies professor y likes this guy too definitely i might not like professor y but professor y told me that Silver Mr. E is a cool dude. So right here, while this white is still wet, I'm actually kind of wet blending some of this blue in here. Give it that nice blue glow effect. Might go back in with a little bit of white. Do some more highlights after I do my washes. I think that's gonna be pretty good man from the card and everything dude pow dude like which one's the card which one's the miniature never know man that's how good I am shit it's good man I like that it's pretty tough hey, yeah that's pretty dope man we'll add a little bit more over to his shoulder let's get this locked in a little bit more right there oh while that's still wet I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of white add a little bit more white in there it's a wet blend this shit out of it what we're doing wet blending Stippling, doing the old stippling method. In the old highlights. Trying to get all the highlights to the highest points. Because it's a uh, spirit, man. Like something. Getting 
that all locked in with the white and the blue. Stippling it in, feathering it out. And all those high points to the highest point you can get. Or we call it a night. I think we're doing really good with these miniatures lately. And this is all commission worthy painting skills right here. Oh, little feral with the hand. Alright, work it in. Boom. Boom, dude, like. Damn. Damn. Would go in with a wash, but this right here, I probably don't want to go in with a wash. I want to go in just like that right there. A cow. I oh, can't even see it. Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. You can't see this. It's looking pretty tight, man. It's looking just like the card. Once this mats down and dries, it will definitely get to that color with. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna close our pocket palette up. Let's see if I drop this mat down. Let's see. Let's see. If I drop this mat down, you can actually see it. Maybe? Right, a little bit not much but you can see a little bit of it what I was doing here from the card that like dude that is spot on man oh no some can open that pocket palette back up need to add that blue and you add that um, white and go blue first. Get inside this little piece right here. Alright. Get that blue off there. Get in this white. White right on the top. Boom! There it is, guys. Perfect. Sick. Ill. Off the meat. Off the meat rack, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we we'll close this pocket pellet back up. Look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. What you think? You think this is good? I think this is good. This is off the point right here. Pretty good guys. Get that white and that blue all locked in. It's looking pretty dope. Looking like the card. Liking it. Liking it guys. I'm liking it. Alright guys, so we're gonna set that off side. Put that card up there. Alright guys, I think I'm pretty much done for the night. 
So thank you guys once again for joining me and kicking it with me on these late night shenanigans. And if you guys want to know how to improve your painting skills and uh, kick it with me, hit that subscribe and notification bell. And you will get notified when I upload these late night shenanigans and videos like what I have posted. <laughs> but alright, that's enough of that. We did pretty good. We busted that piece out in two hours. So I think we did pretty good, guys. I think we did pretty good. So thank you for joining me and supporting me on this late night. So as I always say, till next time, I'll show you more. So, ciao. Have a good night, guys. Have a good weekend. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Love, love, love. Love, love, love.